with me and we're back with the class 08 so i've got the br class 08 09 and 13 locomotives general data preparation disposal driving instructions and fault and finding information manual from british rail and it's the train crew manual so we're gonna uh, we're going to skip to the part of the manual where it tells me to turn on the locomotive starting an engine okay so first thing we're going to do is it, uh, check that all the cocks are closed as earlier which of course they are and presumably they are on both sides indeed then we're going to shut the uh, ice um, battery isolation cocks which are here one and the other one is on the other side there we go now we're going to unlock the door and climb up i'm going to turn on, on my cab light turn on the marker lights instrument lights and cab light and I'm going to open my window for a bit of ventilation. Right. So, the first thing it says is uh, to close the battery isolation, isolating switches, which we have done. The next thing we must do is check that all the uh, locomotive isolating valves are on the normal position. So, unisolate the whistle on both sides. Okay. Uh, check the handbrake is applied, which indeed it is. Unisolate the sand. The driver safety device and the brake valve perfect now uh, I think we're done so we'll sit down and now it says to proceed to set the master key to so it's got various positions positions it's got off on engine only and spring loaded start which goes back into uh, engine only so the first thing we're going to do is turn on engine only which only energizes the engine systems and we're going to hold a uh, hold it in start and wait until the engine starts there we go the engine has started okay perfect so um okay now Okay, we're done for the moment. So now we're going to proceed to do a dual brake locomotive, which of course this is one. Uh, and we're going to do our brake test. Okay, so the first thing we've got to do is check that the main reservoir... Well, first set the master switch to on. You can now hear the brakes charging. Because all the systems have now energised. Okay. So now we're going to do a locomotive brake test. Right. So this is the brake cylinder. And hopefully our brakes will release shortly. The automatic brake is in release, so it should in a moment, of course, it's not cut out, so we're fine. See, let me sit down. Yeah, I think it's just charging the brake pipe. There we go. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Just in case you want to see this shunter externally, you can see it. So BR class 08. Okay, the brakes, for some reason, don't want to release. Don't really know why. It's like the compressor's not functioning which is a bit weird maybe now? yeah there it goes it just needed a bit of a whack let's just say right so we can now proceed with um, our local brake test so we're going to set it to full service and check that you get a full application of the brakes and release it and check the pressure falls to zero which indeed it does now set it to emergency and check that we get an immediate brake application to maximum service indeed it does we do and we can now release it and verify that the brakes release okay we're now sorted there so we're just going to take our seat the helm of this locomotive right so 
So we're going to now do our automatic brake valve test, which is this white one, under vacuum brake conditions. So the first thing we must do is set the brake, the, va the exhaust isolation switch to unisolated, and then brake selector switch to vacuum. So now we've got to check that the vacuum creates fully, which of course it does, because this locomotive is fully functional. So I'm just going to... Uh, no, we're fine here for the moment, actually. Uh, so we're now going to set the... Okay, so we, we still have our brake pressures. Okay, so we're now going to set it to first application. I think I'm going to stand up for this one. And we should get it down to 15, like on the class 20. There we go, initial application. Indeed, it lowers to 15, and the brake pipe with it. Now, put it into full service and check that the vacuum is nearly destroyed. Indeed it is. And then we move it to release. And the, va and the cylinder pressure falls to zero and the vacuum creates fully. Okay. Now we must operate the brake valve handle, which is this one, to emergency and check that the brake, cylinder, the brake cylinder pressure rises instantly, the vacuum is completely destroyed, and we have no pressure in the brake pipe. So here we go. Uh, it's a bit of a slow brake cylinder application, but everything else that has meant to happen has happened. Right. So, right. Uh, we'll move it back to running. Check that we've got a vacuum again, together with brakes releasing, indeed. Right, so first thing I'm going to have to do is change, isolate the exhauster, set the brakes to air, and release the vacuum completely. So we've got to destroy the vacuum using this little valve here. This is the life. That's the entry into mod 2. I mean 1. I am plenty of fun. Just give it two more seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We're done. Right, sit down. And now we've got to do the DSD check on here. So we're just going to um, get up, basically, and set the reverse towards and check that the brake pipe pressure lowers. Indeed it is. You can see the compressor pumping in. It's taking its time, but it, it, indeed we get a, f a full brake application. I'm going to change the instrument panel round for when we drive it. Okay, put it back to neutral and see the brakes charge. You can hear the compressor pumping in. And now we can... Okay, we're done. We are indeed sorted. Right. We're now going to sit down in our corresponding seat. We're going to apply the locomotive brake. We're going to release the train brake. We're going to... Uh, no, we're going to sit our brakes to light engine and we're going to release our handbrake completely there we go now we're going to turn off our lights check indeed that we've got there we go put it into forwards give it power you must leave it in forwards for a little while make use of the whistle you must leave it in forwards for a little while I mean not in forwards in one power one to check that the engine contactors have closed. We're going to just run the shunter round from our bay right now to the next bay along. So we're now on bay 12. I see, yeah, I'll just, uh, oh, wait a minute. Am I on this track here? No, I'm on better one. Okay, so running over to this side. Um, So 
So we're just going to shunt a bit forwards a, a bit faster. There we go. Stop the locomotive. Shunt back in here. Release the brakes and apply them again. Now reverse. Contact is closed. Release the brakes again. Let the locomotive move. Whistle. There we go. So we're now on this junction. By the way, a special shout out to Paul D. Watcher of the Year. He has given my channel, well, apart from Cool Games, did more support than anybody else. So thank you very much, Paul. Special mention there. Just stopping here. Releasing the brakes a minute. There we go. Changing these points. And stopping again. Now we'll put it into forwards, let the contactors close, release the brake. Power up a bit more. There we go. We're now taking this junction over here and we're going to leave the locomotive in this little stabling point over here. There's a three, cl three car 101 passing on the main line now. There you go. And class 20s in the opposite direction. Very nice. In the meantime, we're on our little shunt. We're limited to 15 miles an hour. Slow down a bit. As we're prepared to stop here, release the brakes. And full service, the brakes. There we go. So now I'm just going to proceed to shut down the locomotive, which isn't much of a job. It's just reverse engine only, turn on the parking brake. Uh, turn off the mark lights and instrument lights. Uh, release the straight brake. Turn off the engine. which has been done, turn off the, we'll close any access points, open the door, turn off the light, and shut the battery isolating cocks. I know this procedure pretty much off the top of my head without having to check the manual. So I'll see ya when we get to our dearest, dearest class 37. I'll see you there.